I'm a huge Nest fan. I'm a I've huge got Nest it in my fan apartment. as well. Tell us about it. So this deal to me was shocking. I just spoke with Tony Fidel two months ago. We talked about his grand vision, where this is going. There was no indication that he wanted to sell this company. And a third of the employees work at Apple, worked at Apple before. Fidel and his co-founder are former Apple employees. The, the Nest looks and feels like Apple. I think you could probably attest to that. So it's not only shocking that they sold. This company is just three years old. It is shocking that they sold to Google and not Apple. Why? I'm not sure that I buy that. Google is a cloud company. Google's a big data company. And both uh, of those attributes, let's call them that, Fit very well with Nest. And Apple, right? Apple is not is having cash. Yeah, Apple is not a big data company. It's not a cloud company. It's not an algorithm company. And that's what makes Nest. And powerful. Apple characteristically does not make huge acquisitions. I think the biggest acquisition they made was like more than a decade ago, Next Computer, that was four hundred million dollars. So nothing close to three point two billion. But when you look at an entrepreneur like Tony Fidel, I remember talking to him when he started this company. And perhaps it's the you know romantic nature of Silicon Valley. You just don't expect an entrepreneur like that to sell. But it, it's just Google is also, you know, sort of the, the, the king of uh, privacy invasions, and that's one of the big concerns here. Do you really want Google in your home when they're already in your email, when they already know everything that you search? But even if we say we're uncomfortable with it, Google's a, a proper noun. It's a verb. We use it constantly. So we say out loud that we're not comfortable with these privacy issues, yet we use these things every single day. We How do. many times do you use Google a day? I, I, I can't count, even count. Yeah, yeah. I can't even count. But look, this obviously gives them the resources to scale. This is a hardware company. It is very difficult to scale a hardware company without an incredible amount of capital. They were looking at raising hundreds of millions of dollars. Now they have 3.2 billion in the bank, assuming that this deal gets approved pending uh, regulatory issues. But they don't have to worry about it, and the possibilities are endless. You know, they've been talking about. Nest security system. What about Nest in your in your refrigerator? Nest in your oven? Nest could be everywhere potentially. But there are also some big questions here. Uh, you know, Nest is 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 run on on a sort of proprietary operating system. What about Android? Is Android going to creep into Nest somehow? Is that going to change the experience? These are real concerns from a regulatory standpoint. How, how real is it that it might not go through? I don't think. I mean, I think it probably will go through. I, I don't think that's a big risk. For the folks at Nest, you're right. It is. I mean, I don't know if it's unusual. Eventually, everybody needs an exit, right? Either right. you go public or you get sold. This Was company there... is three years old, though. It's just, it's just, it's but shocking. If, if it's... It, I read that Google is paying 21 times sales. Right? If you're going to get an offer at 21 times sales, take it, right? Don't, 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 don't take your risk. Evan Spiegel market. didn't take it at Snapchat. Yeah, nor did the guys at Groupon, right? But there were a lot of people in the late 90s that sure wished they had. So maybe they're saying, let me take this great opportunity. And it gives them the chance to really grow in a significant way where maybe they wouldn't have the funding and on their own. And Google is working on so many exciting things right now. Who knows where Google Glass is going to go? Who knows where driverless cars are going to go? Who knows where all of these robotics companies that they've acquired are going to go? But it's definitely exciting. One thing that Tony Fidel did say is that, look, I'm not going to Google to work on phones. I already did that. I did that at Apple. I created the iPod. I basically created created the iPhone. I'm going to be doing much more exciting and different things, and we don't know what those things are. 